So this might be a little bit roundabout and all over the place, but uh, that is how I live my life. Uh, so I'm not gonna change that and we're just gonna roll with it. Okay, so what I've learned, apparently it's a lot. I was in my psychology lecture yesterday talking about creativity and consciousness. You know, how creativity criteria is really hard to meet scientifically, how AI will eventually be able to do everything we can, but better, how we can't really tell if we're conscious or not, you know, all the good things. And at the end of that very comforting and reassuring lecture that made me basically question my entire existence, my professor, my professor said, but you humans are special. Here's why. We take unstructured matter, add the intent of creativity, and in the end, we embed that matter with meaning. In other words, we create meaning in the universe from unstructured matter. I've learned that this is what we've done this year. We have taken the unstructured matter of the year added an intent to create and learn and improve. And as a result, we have given that the latter half of this year meaning. By doing that, I've learned we are resilient. In business class on Wednesday, Laura said, you don't know you're an actor because you're booking. You know you're an actor because you're an actor. Or in sports terms, because who doesn't love a good sports metaphor? You're not a professional baseball player because you hit a home run. You're a professional because you're holding the bet. That's what we've done. We've stepped out of the dugout and onto that field, not knowing if it would be possible to hit a home run or even to hold the damn bat, but we still stepped up to the plate. That we chose to do that is, that we, hello, words? That we chose to do that in what might be the darkest and most uncertain time in many of our lifetimes, the decision to push through that and our success in getting to this day is borderline superhuman. And we did it despite all odds. Some of us had to wake up at 5 a.m. to start studio. Some of us finished studio at 3 a.m. Some of us completed the semester with an ensemble of only three. Some of us had to stay home. Some of us had to take care of family and work a job and continue to work towards a degree and the list goes on. We chose to continue our education. Some of us even chose to begin our education. And for simply making that decision, we have learned that we can do this and that we should be doing this. I've learned that change is okay. That, is, that it is inevitable, and that though it might not be ideal, it is doable. I've learned that thousands of miles can't stop us, and that though sometimes it sucked, you can actually create something beautiful, honest, and truthful through a computer with someone who might not only not be in your state or city, but might not even be in a different country. And that this new medium actually allows for a lot of opportunities not otherwise possible. As Rory said last year, I've learned I can only control one thing, and that is my own work ethic. Everything else is everything else, and trying to control it is a complete and total waste of precious time, particularly now. I've learned not to take my ensemble or time with other people for granted. I have learned the bounds of self-discipline I can and must instill when not surrounded by my ensemble or teachers for eight, uh, eight hours a day, three days a week. I've learned that, as Reggie also said on Wednesday, it is your job to just say the words and make a mess. And even though that's sometimes all you can do, that is enough. And that has been enough. That has been enough to get us here. That has been enough to continue to learn and grow and create and live through this past semester, through the past nine and a half months, through our final semester of training or our first. I'm not sure how much of that was stuff I've learned or just general thoughts, but it's what I've got. Which is another thing I've learned, to be patient and kind to myself. And again, I've learned that I am resilient and that I can do this, and that we can do this, because we did. Thank you. Thank you, Emma, that was so beautiful, you made me cry.